Humans have always been drawn to the mysteries of the night sky. On clear nights, we can see thousands of stars and galaxies with our naked eyes alone. Optical telescopes have allowed us to see millions more and taught us much of what we know about the universe by collecting the light that finds its way to Earth from space. More recently, radio telescopes have enabled us to gather radio waves from space, providing a view of a universe filled with gas and exotic physical processes in more detail than ever before. Modern technology is now driving a rapid expansion of the capability of radio telescopes, and with it, their potential for new and exciting discoveries. For decades, scientists and engineers from all over the world have been developing a radio telescope so large and powerful that it will be able to see almost all the way back to the beginning of the universe. This telescope is known as the Square Kilometre Array, or SKA, a project so ambitious that it will skip a generation in the development of radio telescopes. The SKA will be constructed in two places, Southern Africa and Australia, and will be made up of millions of antennas of different types, linked together by fibre optic networks and feeding data into huge supercomputers. Australia's SKA site at the Murchison Radio Astronomy Observatory in Outback Western Australia will be home to a low frequency array of millions of chest high dipole antennas which will be spread out in clusters over an area up to 100 kilometres in diameter. The low frequency array or SKA low will collect radio waves from the farthest reaches of space that have stretched out and shifted from high to lower frequency waves as the universe has expanded. Phase one will see over 100,000 of these antennas placed in the Australian outback, extending into the millions over the following decade. When fully operational, the array will generate staggering quantities of data, several times more, in fact, than today's entire global internet traffic. This data will help us provide answers to some of humanity's oldest and most profound questions about the universe around us. All of the data gathered by the SKA in Australia will be correlated and packaged up on site before travelling via a dedicated high capacity fibre optic connection to the coastal city of Geraldton and then on to Perth over 700 kilometres away. In Perth, the data will be processed at the Pawsey Supercomputing Centre, an innovative and purpose built supercomputer facility. The sheer volume of data generated by the SKA will require a supercomputer faster and more powerful than any currently in existence. Though construction of Phase 1 of the SKA project is not due to begin until the latter half of this decade, the Australian core site is already home to two SKA precursor telescopes. Testing and developing technology for the SKA, these are both state-of-the-art radio telescopes in their own right. The Australian SKA Pathfinder Telescope, or ASCAP, built by Australia's CSIRO, is a 36-dish survey array that can capture images from an area of the sky 30 times larger than previous radio receivers, thanks to its revolutionary phased array feed receiver technology, a feature which helps it to survey large areas of the sky quickly and accurately. The Murchison Wide Field Array or MWA telescope, a collaboration between several international universities and organisations, is designed to pick up low frequency radio waves from deep space. It is already doing groundbreaking science and the lessons being learned in its design and construction will help to inform the design of the SKA low frequency array. Both the ASCAP and the MWA are on the brink of making discoveries and breaking records in radio astronomy. Both are already playing important roles in the development of the world's largest telescope, the SKA. And Australia, as proud co-host of the SKA, looks forward to playing a key role in its development, helping to unlock the secrets of the universe.